wouldn't it be great if you could cut in, in your network topology as a whole here if you could tell like if a device had a problem let's say a bgp event that occurred on that on that specific device understand the impact that that could have across your across your network so if we were good to go in here to these verify and then do these intent checks created a series of in, of intent checks that are here and let's let's kind of pick this one here this overlay from atlanta to san jose which is some sequence of devices that'll be involved in this path. And you can kind of see what that looks like. There's a lot of stuff going on to, to make it on up into somewhere it looks like up into our Azure environment. And there's all these devices that are possibly included in in that existence check, right? So what we've done is we've, we've highlighted, you know, the list of, of those devices here for one specific path and accounted for equal cost multipath as well. So in, in forward networks, what, I, what I've done is I've created a dashboard that basically just says, you know, look for BGP events by, by a specific device. In this case here, I was saying Atlanta DC01. So this is devices that have reported some BGP event and you know, select that and then it'll then query in and see these are all the checks that would be impacted by that. And so this overlay from Atlanta to San Jose. So in, to kind of visualize that a little bit as, as the, in terms of the building blocks, if you were to look at this BGP adjacency change, right? Make a table dedupe by router. That's the basis for that dropdown. And I'll just go ahead, you know, give it a wide, wide swath. So that's the basis for that dropdown that you saw, router one, two, three, and this ATL DC01 ACC 14. And then if if you want to look at what what those forward networks checks kind of look like, I'll add this to the search and go in and say well, over the last month to date. And so this is just a go through those forward existence of checks, look for that string. In this case, it's some name of a device, and you know, spit out the list of checks and the check description that that that, that device would possibly impact, right? And so this is a great way of pivoting from events that you're pouring into Splunk from all different types of sources, and be able to go back and kind of say, what is that intent? What is the impact to my intent? What's going to happen in my environment? What, what should I be worried about when I see those types of events get triggered? In this case, some kind of BGP event on this device, but it could be anything on that device. And we can also make those on terps, in terms of interfaces as well and other other types of things. And and to do so, uh, all I did was just in Splunk add-on builder, created this this app here called Forward Path, and it just goes out and, and hits the Forward Networks API and queries that API for you know this type of information and gets this type of information in and gets it in a, on those on those lines that you saw if you if you were down here in terms of in these existence checks it gets the lines from let me just pull that back up it, it gets those lines from if I was to kind of wipe away a little bit of the table it gets them from these events I'm inserting in by just hitting the API taking each line is just basically a check some description and a list of nodes that are involved in that in that specific check and just inserting them in as a lines into Splunk and then on our dashboard we're able to to query for those devices that may have had in this case a BGP event of some sort you know hit that drop down and say okay well that device that device had a BGP event those checks that are impacted thanks for your time